I apologize this is another Sensi video that I'm sharing with you guys. I know I just uploaded um, the uh, haul that I did. I think it was a haul. But this one is a special one, um, especially to the girls in my team, my customers, and also other consultants because this is the Bring Back My Bar collection for July of 2018. So I'm going to open up my box and I have um, other stuff in here but I will not share that I'm just gonna share the the bring back my bars so bring back my bars is a special time with Sensi it happens twice a year what happens is a couple months before it's actually released to the public there's actually a vote for us consultants and the public of what our favorite scents are and the top I don't know the top ones makes it to the final list that you could vote on to that and I think we voted on it like I want to say March what's now June I think it was March and then October November December and then I think during the January bring back my bar we vote on that around October okay now I'm not gonna share everything in this box but I didn't know how Sensi was gonna package it so that's why I wanted to show you guys me opening it oh my gosh it's so heavy okay, let me it's a box within a box these are 25 uh, 25 retired bring back my bar fragrances that was voted with along with consultants and customers about maybe two months ago and they will be released July 1st to the public but as a consultant we were able to purchase the whole 25 if we wanted to so that we could share it to our customers and be able to just sniff it out make samples and such so since it's really nice um, about that and I don't usually I've been with Sensi for a year and a half I think I'm going on almost my two years now, but I am a long-time customer. But I have never bought, even as a customer, I have never bought the whole, the whole 25 in one. Now I wanted to buy this one is because I just saw so many, so many good scents. So I figured that I would go ahead and give it, give it a shot. It's a Saturday morning. I'm trying to make this video, and I'm like, I keep repeating myself, and I'm like. This is, I'm talking to you guys while I'm taking it out of the bag. But uh, hubby and I went out last night and I don't usually take shots, but we had a couple of shots uh, celebrating friends, one of his uh, childhood friends' birthday over at the casino. And I'm still trying to get my bearing. And it's a early Saturday morning, but I wanted to make this video for you guys before everybody woke up because we are renovating our kitchen. So um, we will be doing all of that today so I want to share this with you guys so I'm sorry if I'm stuttering I'm just, it's it's a hangover but I'm here I'm here for my girls okay and I'm here for my customers so let's get started all right the first one there's 25 and there if these scents made it here to bring back my bar then it's a popular scent but yet yeah, uh, all of us have different scents so it may not be popular to me or it may not be popular to you but it is uh, overall um, won a popularity contest with with Sensi. So the first one is going to be White Sands. Sensi says it's night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. Now the reason I got all of these is because like I said it just just reading the description seemed like it's something that I would want but um but I didn't have any one. I only had one of them ever. Oh this is really nice. This is nice. Not too feminine, not masculine, something in between. I think it's that milk with the jasmine just really brings it together. And rice, how can you? By coconut milk and rice, I'm sensing in their ingredients. I don't know how they do it, but they do. I can smell the coconut and the jasmine and it's just a nice combination so this is a really nice neutral scent not too girly not too masculine so really like that one and then the next one is silhouette silhouette it's going to be uh is it helotrope and orange blossoms with whispers of lavender and patchouli a modern classic so it's a nice like burgundy wax Hmm, 
Again, it's a nice, just like white sand, I feel like it's a nice neutral scent that can work for masculine and not too, not too girly girly. It's very subtle. It's not a light scent at all. Um, it's, it, it has lavender and I don't know what the patchouli is, but it's nice. It's, it's a subtle scent. I like it. And you guys, okay, with my scent, the way I'm describing this is like, we, we all have our own scents, but I, I like fruity and coastal and clean, breezy, a little bit fruity kind of thing. So I'm not much into the woodsy and musky smell. So if, so if it's something that I don't like, maybe it has more of that punch to it. But that one is like a nice neutral, neutral scent. It can go into the masculine category, but yet not too feminine. I, I liked it. Okay, so the next one, it's called Buckleberry, and then it's another, like a ruby, like a ruby wax color. Okay, Buckleberry. Sensei says it's a bite of summer's bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbs and coffee cake. Ooh, coffee cake. Hmm. Berries and coffee cake. I'm um, intrigued. Oh, this smells good. This is perfect for the fall. Maybe it has cinnamon in it. Hmm. I like this. It, it's a nice fall scent. I can smell a cinnamon in here. Fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. It doesn't say cinnamon. I like this, buckleberry. Hmm, a nice fall scent or getting ready for the fall. Now, the next one is Lotus, Lotus Cove, and it's going to be like a baby blue color. So, Lotus Cove, since it says it's a splash of sea air, earthy lavender, and watery water flowers anchored by rustic driftwood. I'm going to think that this is more of a masculine set. Hmm. It's, um... It smells like soap. <laughs> Not a bad thing. I'm just saying that. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this upside down because it smells. It smells like like not shampoo, but like a Dove, like a Dove soap. I like it. It's it's a clean scent. A splash of sea air, earthy lavender, and water flowers anchored by rustic driftwood. It's that driftwood in there that makes me feel like it's a masculine scent. But it makes, it's a clean scent. It's just clean. It's like a clean, like a fresh out of the shower soap kind of smell. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it Yuzu Dragon? I was curious of how this one was going to smell. Yuzu, is it Yuzu Dragon? Yuzu Dragon is a, like a pink, like a pink wax. Okay. Sensi says it's a burst of fruit that simply sparkles fresh guava, love guava, fresh guava and honeyed nectarine spiked with exotic dragon fruit and yuzu. I'm doing, I'm reading it slow because I need glasses. It's too far away. I'm, I'm very intrigued with the guava and I hope it does not disappoint me along with the dragon fruit. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet. You can smell the guava, the dragon. It's just, it's just a nice sweet. If you guys like fruity, fruity scents like I do during the springtime, yes, definitely pick this up. Guava is, um, guava is not overpowering because if you guys don't like guava, like hubby doesn't like guava. I like guava, but guava can be very overpowering. It doesn't have that. It's just mixed in with the nectarine and the dragon fruit. fruit. Really smells really, really good. So I'm, I'm gonna order more of that one. And, okay, next one. Is it Zephyr? Zephyr? It's a baby blue. Zephyr is a, my lighting. Early morning light outside. Zephyr is woody French lavender, buttery suede and rich woods in a strong and sensuous fragrance. I'm gonna guess it's a masculine one. Yes, masculine scent. 
Nice! It's a nice masculine scent. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this upside down. Very masculine. Very woodsy. Manly. It's nice. Um, I think hubby would like this scent. I like it. Nice! It's just... It's just a clean man scent kind of thing, but not like, not like the other one. This is, this has more of a woodsy tone to it. Okay, that's nice as well. I like that. Watermelon mint. Okay, watermelon mint. It was the only one I knew of out of all these 25, um, bring back my bars. And because before I became a consultant, I was a customer, but I stuck to my usual. I would get six of this or 12 of this, six of Kahikuhula, six of Havana Cavana, um, six of Kamu Kamu, and that was it kind of thing. I'm like, okay, just give me my usual to my consultant. That was it. I didn't venture out. I didn't start venturing out into all these other scents until I became a consultant, and it was such a wide awakening for me. I'm in love with all these scents. Oh, okay. This reminds me of when I first became a Sensi um, customer. I have, I actually bought so much of this that it's lasted me however long it's been. Probably four years since they, they had this. So I ordered so much, I still have one. Actually, see, <laughs> I have one that I've been melting sparingly because this is my last one. It's nice. If you guys like watermelon scent, this is the one to get because it smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon bubblegum, watermelon candy. It's just a good watermelon scent. So I like this one. Okay. Sensi says, I didn't even describe it because I was like, <laughs> I've been so excited to get more of this. I am definitely going to pick up a lot more of this. And so watermelon mint, Sensi says, it's a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat this is what summer smells like watermelon mint to me oh it smells so good okay next one oh i'm so curious okay this is so popular lemon coconut chiffon this is so popular I am so curious as to what this really smells like because this is so popular with so many customers and consultants. It comes in a yellow wax. Since it says melt in your mouth, lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Sensei, do not fail me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can smell coconut, I can smell lemon. It's like a lemon, um, gosh, I, I had the vision in my head. Now I can't even describe it. I like to put my scent upside down because I feel that um, all, all the, the, the main ingredients is like seeping to the bottom. That's just my thing. So when I turn it upside down, then I'm really getting that scent in. But this smells so good. If you guys love bakery scent, but yet not the cinnamon and spices kind of thing it's more of like the cake you guys know how much i love my uh, vanilla bean buttercream oh you're gonna love this lemon custard layered with butter cake i can smell butter cake sprinkled with toasted coconut and i can smell toasted coconut oh my gosh smells so good definitely picking up so much of that okay hemingway hemingway sensi says is a rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. That just describes fall, like, okay. Yes, fall. I would like to warm this up come September 1st. I can smell the richness of apples. Um, you know, I, I missed out on, I think it was called Apple Orchard. Orchard Apple or something like that. They retired it. It's no longer available. And I'm trying to find um, a new scent to replace it. This could be the one. Hmm. I thought I had an empty shell here. But yes, this is a good fall scent. If you like apples with a little spice to it, definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely fall. Okay. The next one is banana. Banana berry. Curious to... 
see how that smells like as well banana berry it's it's in a yellow yellow wax and since it says lusciously sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberries oh I have a squirrel the squirrel's been eating my pastas oh I was kind of thinking that it was gonna smell like um like a banana nut bread but it had strawberry oh it smells really good I did not think it was gonna smell like that it smells like banana but it's the banana cream so it's like a like a banana cream pie so it's that creaminess of it not a banana not like a ripe banana because there's a difference of that smell sometimes I don't like the smell of ripe banana um, but it smells like a banana cream pie to me yeah it smells like a banana cream pie and then it has the the hint of that strawberry probably that mixed in that just makes it less banana me <laughs> it's good I'm gonna pick up more of this and I'm not much of a banana scent kind of person but I like this one okay business casual oh I know this one okay I know this one I've um, gotten this one for hubby actually I think yep see I got um, a bar of that one that I've been melting for hubby so I like this one. Oh yeah it's it's a clean sexy man <laughs> business casual is a fusion of exotic cardamom intriguing caraway lively pepper and fragrant woods with a powdery whisk of orange blossom this just smells like a sexy man very manly scent it just smells like a sexy a man just got out of the shower with a nice cologne that's not overpowering kind of thing it just makes him smell good so that's what it smells like yes definitely definitely what it smells like sexy man okay next one I have bamboo yuzu okay so I think this is one of the other reasons why I picked up the whole 25 bar um, fragrance because as consultants we couldn't purchase it one one by one or one kind of one out of we had to purchase the whole 25 if we wanted it earlier than uh, the general public but this one because I have been loving rainforest cafe the rainforest scent I was hoping that bamboo yuzu would be similar to that so it comes in a light green wax and Sensi says it is imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. Not like Rainforest Cafe. Or not Rainforest Cafe, but uh, Rainforest Bungalow. Did I say Rainforest Cafe earlier? It doesn't smell like the Rainforest Bungalow that we currently have for the spring and spring and summer collection I'm looking at the squirrel just going up and down my fence trying to get my is it blackberries oh okay so I think it's the Japanese bamboo smell tranquil lotus flower or maybe it's the sage hmm okay I kind of I'm kind of disappointed a little bit because I thought it would be more of a like a tranquil rainforest kind of scent I thought honestly this would smell more like the rainforest bungalow but it doesn't it's more of a flowery sage kind of scent so curious to see how that smells okay my first disappointment but that's just from a cold sniff so I haven't melted it yet so don't take my word for it but uh, the next one is Zen Garden. This is popular too with my bestie and she's a consultant. She loves this. Zen Garden. Okay, Sensi says Zen Garden is a, a dewy sweet bloom of ripe oh, honeydew, soft freesia, and water lotus. I love honeydew. I love honeydew boba. I love the smell of honeydew, but yet I don't like honeydew as a fruit to eat so much. I'll eat it once in a while but I honestly don't buy honeydew really at the supermarket but I love everything honeydew scent which is really weird for me okay this is really nice this is really really nice okay um, I thought we had this on the clearance section 
a while back. Um, maybe because we had it on the Bring Back My Bar last January? I don't know. But this smells very flowery. So if you like that flower scent, I think it's the freesia in there. Honeydew, I can light honeydew scent to me. Um, but it smells really, really good. It's, it, it's more of like a jasmine to me though. I don't know. My nose is off. I'm, but it smells really good. It's very floral. If you like that floral scent, then yes, get um, Zen Garden. They should have called this Zen Gardenia because I smell a bit of a gardenia in there. Hmm. It smells really good. Okay, Bora Bora Blossom. I believe they just had this in the Bring Back My Bar during the month of January. I don't know. But um, it's like a light lavender in color. And Bora Bora Blossom is get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits and lush orchid balanced with a kiss of fresh green violet leaf. Smells nice. It smells sweet. Not too florally. I think it's that island fruit in there and the orchid. I have a lot of orchids in my home. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's island fruits, orchid, and violet leaf. It's um, it's it's a fruity scent with a orchid. Is not too flowery scent or powdery scent. I like it. It's more of like a natural natural scent. Sorry, this this squirrel is just going up and down my fence, up and down. I like it. It's a, another um, favorite of my customers too, that one. Sweet Plum Pastry. I believe we had this um, for a while um, with our regular catalog and then they ended up retiring it. But it was very popular um, uh, during, during like the regular catalog. So I think I just got this in like a room spray or a scent circle. But did not get it in a bar. And since it says it's Black Plum a deep purple color black plum with toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud oh it's sweet oh it is sweet sweet plum pastry oh it's sweet it's like it reminds me of when I'm making ube okay Ooh, um, for you for my friends out there ube is like a very popular Filipino dessert and it smells like when I'm because you have to stir it for like two hours. It smells like pastry. I can smell the toasted coconut. I can definitely smell the plum. And it's that marshmallow that gives it that, that sweetness. So really good. Okay. I can't believe I missed out on that one for the previous uh, catalogs. Watermelon mint. I already showed you guys that one. Blackberry meringue. Light purple again. Okay. Blackberry meringue. Sensi says is blackberry, sugared fig, black plum, and a pinch of ground spice mingle deliciously in this to die for sensory dessert. Okay, you guys think that I'm reading it slowly just to make sure that you guys understand. I'm reading it slowly because I'm like trying to get in those letters. I need glasses. Oh, smells. smells I can I think it's the fig that's throwing me off black plum okay black plum well um ground cinnamon ground spice I'm sorry not ground cinnamon ground spice it's I can't put my finger on it I'm like that's why I'm like trying to really smell it because I'm like there's this image in my head but I can't get the words to describe it Blackberry sugared fig, black plum, ground spice. I just feel like it's a, it's like a bakery scent, but yet subtle to where you can't really tell what it is, kind of. I know that's like the worst description, but it's very subtle. Um, I don't know. I would put this in the same category for me as the bamboo yuzu. I'm kind of like, eh. But that's a cold, um, cold sniff cold sniff means uh, it hasn't been melted and sometimes it it does differ with how you smell it 
um, cold sniff to how it performs when it's being melted. So um, I'm hoping that this will be a good performer because right now it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just very subtle to me. Marshmallow Mint, very light uh, green wax. I'm curious to see how this smells. Butter Mint and Marshmallow make Mary Breath an Amber Well. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like my vanilla bean buttercream. Okay, I gotta get this out of the shell. It smells really good. But it's kind of stuck into the clamshell. Okay. Because I like to take it out, but I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to break it. This smells really good, guys. Oh, oh. Okay, see, I didn't smell that punch of mint until I turned it upside down. See, on the top, I can smell the marshmallow, but that mint, it's like the, the, the scent of the month for January, which is vanilla mint. It has that minty peppermint kind of thing in the background, but um, it's the same to me. It, it's like that mint that um, the restaurants give you, the like the chocolate mint after dinner. It smells good. Butter mint, marshmallow. Hmm. It smells really good. Okay. Mm, I have a three more and then I'm done. Coconut flour. Coconut flour is like a bluish, greenish wax in color. And coconut flower says it says it's graceful tropical blossoms meet luscious pineapple and the subtle scent of coconut milk in a feminine floral fragrance. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, tropical blossoms, pineapple, and then coconut milk. Okay, I have to put this. When I'm excited or like very curious about the scent, I turn it upside down. That smells, that's intriguing. It's not like I love it, but I don't hate it, but it's not subtle. It's just like, I'm curious how this will melt because it's got me, it's got my attention. Tropical Blossom Pineapple. I can, I can definitely smell the coconut milk in here. Um, the Tropical Blossom, I think is what's mixing it all together and it could be many types of tropical fruits or fragrances kind of thing and that's what's making it really smell good the pineapple is very subtle on this one it smells really good coconut flower if you guys like the things that i like of like the clean breezy coastal tropical um clean scents fruity you like that one oh sedona sunset Sedona Sunset is like a like a reddish orangey color, like a sunset. <laughs> Just as the setting sun paints the desert sky, flamboyant desert lily and vanilla orchid enliven creamy coconut milk and earthal is it ethereal? I don't I can't pronounce earthy. Let's just say earthy. Jasmine. It's very oh nice oh oh okay that was a bit of a surprise for me because i thought it would be more musky it is a bit musky i think i think it's a bit musky but not too much i like it sedona sunset that's a nice um nice set to go towards the fall uh, not too springy scent for me, but I think it's a nice transition scent to go into fall. Sea, sun, and fun. This is the last one. Sensi says summer fun. A splash of salt water, orange twist, scattered lily petals, and rays of sunny amber. Nice. Um, smells like soap. <laughs> it's like, it smells, it smells like soap. Smells like laundry soap, not body soap. Smells like laundry soap. So, nice neutral scent for male and female. I always say, like, um, when it smells like a masculine scent, I always 
you know, try to let you guys know that it smells like that into the masculine or almost to the masculine because I do have customers that buy, um, that are gentlemen that like to buy scents and they are always asking like, well, I want a scent but I take it to work and I don't want it to be too floral because I don't like that much floral and plus he, he's like, I don't want to be teased around the office. I get you. I understand, you know, but um, this is good. This is good for that, um, Michael. That's for you. <laughs> this is um, this is a good scent for the office because it's not too too strong. It's not too floral. Sea, sun, and fun. Um, really nice. Okay. All right, friends. I'm back. I'm gonna try to put it back into this video, but I thought I was done and I was putting them away. It turns out I had another row to go through. So one, two, three, four, five more bars to go through. I'm so sorry. There's just so many of them. Okay. So this one is lemon lavender and it comes in a light lavender color. Le and hubby's next to me. <laughs> but lemon lavender, Sensi says, is inviting blend of tangy lemon and sweet lavender flowers. I told you I had a hungover. <laughs> I, I warned them. I'm like, who? I'm just doing this so early in the morning. Okay. Definitely smell the lemon. Definitely smell the lavender on this one. It's just lemon and lavender mixed together. That's it. Plain and simple. It's nice because I don't like that too lavender scent, too strong pungent scent to me. It just, to me, um, lavender can tend to smell like, um, is it? Pure um, potpourri is that what they call, used to call it before, like back in the 90s? It was very strong. It was everywhere, like restaurants, bathrooms. This one, you can smell the lavender, but with that hint of lemon, it just makes it subtle. It smells really good. Okay, I, I'm going to get more of that one. I, I really like that one. Okay, Grape Granita is this one and it comes in a like a plum color wax so grape granita sun warm grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle and I'm not a grape scent kind of person I don't like grape juice it smells like grape juice <laughs> it smells like um, that Welch's grape juice and if you like grape scent then then you will like grape granita because it just honestly smells like grape juice. The Welch's grape juice. And it's a very deep colored wax. I like the color. I can I can definitely smell the grape in there with that hint of honeysuckle. Okay, so that's a strong scent though, very strong. Okay, cherry clove chutney. It's a nice, um, like a burgundy color wax. Cherry clove cutney, since it says it's crushed bing cherries, cloves, and cinnamon. Yes, definitely smell the cinnamon and the cloves. So this is a fall, definitely a fall scent for me. Right now my cherry tree, I can see it in my backyard. It's blooming, there's a lot of cherries in there, so Come next month, it's ready to harvest, and that's what this one smells like to me. You know, come July, August, you're starting to be ready for the fall kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice transition scent to go into fall. Okay, Woodland Suede. Woodland Suede is a nice, like, um, like a hunter green color. And Sensi says, Woodland, Woodland Suede is a retreat to a tranquil wooded Wonderland. What is that set? Redolent, babe. What does that word says? Redolent. Re redolent. 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 Wonderland. Redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. My friends know I can't pronounce words. Very musky, woodsy scent. Red oak, smoky cedar, musk, and winter lemon. It's that lemon in there that make that blends it all together, so it's not so woodsy and musky, but it is still there. I'm curious to see how this would really melt. Woodland suede. 
it smells it smells like a it smells like chopping wood that's what it smells like okay last one finally last one fresh cut daisies okay white white wax fresh cut daisies is a meadow a wash in summer blooms fresh cut grass and clover with daisies buttercups and ivy I like how the color of the wax is oh wow this smells like a daisy field like out out into the the field of just daisies this smells like daisies if you like the smell of daisies this is it that smells really good okay all right friends that is it that is all 25 cents so there was 25 cents guys 25 cents and there was only about two that I was like eh, not so not not so much of me but I'm willing to to give it a shot and other than that they're like amazing so this is like I'm really glad that I purchased all of this they were they will be available for um, the general public come ju uh, July 1st now I believe that customers can also purchase them like we did as consultants of like the whole 25 cents I don't know I'm not quite sure how much um, Sensi um, is selling that I don't know if it's the same price as the consultants I believe it is we just happened to get it two weeks early kind of thing to be able to share with you guys but you can also do that with the uh, two for two which is saving a dollar but that has to be the two cents the twin pack um, just two same cents and it's instead of two for 12 then I, it's two for 11 or you could put it into the bundle and save and just click on specials click on bundle and save and put it for the six for 30 because you get one free bar when you put it into a bundle of save so instead of paying six dollars a piece for six bars of 36 dollars you get it for 30 dollars and that's like one free bar and one free bar for me is like a blessing because the more bars the merrier and that's it friends I just wanted to sh come in here really quick show you guys the bring back my bar that will be available July 1st thank you guys for visiting as always mahalo